Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can we effectively use promises with streams in Node.js? Specifically, they've refactored a utility to fetch a PDF from the web, save it to disk, and then open it in a PDF viewer. However, they're encountering an issue where the file appears valid, but the viewer complains that it's empty. Let's explore the best way to ensure the shell command executes only after the file stream has been fully written to disk. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To ensure that the shell command executes only after the PDF file has been fully written to disk, we need to adjust our promise handling in the download function. In the download PDF function, we will modify the stream to promise function to resolve only after the write stream has finished writing the file. Now let's update the download PDF function to ensure we are resolving with the correct path once the file is completely written. Finally, we can execute the shell command to open the PDF viewer after the promise resolves, ensuring the file is ready to be opened. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Here's a solution for using promises with streams in Node.js. You can create a function that takes a readable stream and returns a promise. In this function, we push each chunk of data into an array and resolve the promise when the writable stream finishes. You can use this function by passing a readable stream, like a file stream, and then handling the result. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can effectively use promises with streams in Node.js by utilizing the permissified pipeline function. This function not only handles the streaming of data, but also ensures proper cleanup of the streams. Here's a quick example. You can pipe a request to a PDF file from a website and write it to your local system using the pipeline function. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.